It's 9 a.m. and geologist Dr. Lorraine Crockford is heading out for another day prospecting. She's not looking for gold or silver, but rather areas rich in ore. It is a bit similar to gold prospecting. I'm looking for how much uh, black stuff I can see in the pan. It's this black sand which contains a rare colourless mineral called zircon. Zircon is the key ingredient needed to make ceramic knives. So once Lorraine has decided where they should mine, it's time for the heavy diggers to move in and start transferring the earth to an army of refining machines. First, a giant vibrating table shakes the largest pieces of rock to the surface. Next, this huge drum spins the material with water to sieve out any remaining pieces of stone. The remaining mineral-rich sand is then pumped to the so-called wet plant. It looks like something from an old sci-fi B-movie. But these strange giant corkscrews perform the same function as a prospector's pan, only on an industrial scale. As the mix spins through these spirals, lighter sands collect on the outside and are discarded, while heavier minerals stay in the middle and are collected. The result is a thick black sludge containing a mix of different minerals. These are separated using magnetic and electrostatic machines. A wet table, and finally, one last shake. What comes out is almost 100% pure zircon, ready to be shipped around the world.